Um, this is that lamp that this lady gave me the other day. It weighs 11 pounds. I'm gonna try to take this thing. I was thinking about restoring it, but I've got so many little projects. That's aluminum. That's not. That's not brass. That's aluminum. How about that? But uh, I've got just so much stuff going on that that's aluminum. That's steel. I seen somewhere that steel was down to three and a half cents a pound. You know what? I might have to, I might have to eat some crow on this because there's just some parts on this lamp that uh, is not brass. Oh, come on now. I didn't mean for that to do that. I hate it when I'm going by something with a magnet and it grabs onto something I don't want. Hold up. This. I don't think it's brass. Probably aluminum, it's not heavy enough for brass now. Okay, here's this. Uh, there's that part. Dang, that thing's heavy. And here, it's coming apart. Pretty. This is sure heavy like brass. It looks like brass. I'm fixing to cut into that. <laughs> I may. Well, that's really. How much of that screwed into that thing? Dang. That's steel. Damn. I'm getting nervous. That may be just brass plate. Boy, I'm way sick if it's just brass plate. I don't have my regular. I know, I'll just... 
I'll just I'll just cut into it. What do I do with my pickup sticks out there? <laughs> Well, I'm so disappointed. It is not brass. Son of a gun. I suppose that's aluminum and then coated with brass. I ain't never heard of such a thing. Look at that. Gosh! It's aluminum. Son of a gun. Aluminum. Man. Keep grinding on it. Maybe I'm thinking that my grinder will turn it into brass. There it is, folks. Aluminati. Aluminium. Look at that snobby.
and UK scrapper and a couple others I can't remember your name off. Huh? It's aluminium. <laughs> oh gosh. And you know what? If I hadn't cut into it, there's this one scrap yard that probably would have thought it was brass too and gave me brass price. But then that's when you do something like that. Now, about it, if I hadn't cut into it, I was I was pretty sure it was brass. And. I can, uh, they would have given me brass price for it. But if you know it's not brass and you go in there intentionally trying to get brass price for it and you know it's aluminum or aluminum or aluminati, uh, that's like stealing. Now, aluminum. If I cut into this part here, no, I haven't. I could almost cut that off right here and make a base out of it. I'd have to put a bottom in there. That would make a neat little base. <laughs> I swear. I was a hundred percent sure that was brass. But why is it so dang heavy? It's pretty thick cast. Gun. Matter of fact, there ain't no part of that lamp brass. No part. Aluminite, uh, aluminium. From my Brett friends. You know, I heard a the other day, I've got quite a few British friends, Australian friends, uh, and one of my subscribers, I hope it wasn't a, 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 a racist word or something like that, but he, he said, he told me, he said, you got a bunch of limeys on your as subscribers and I said a bunch of what he said limeys I said what is that he said your your friends the British limeys so I didn't push any further but it kind of didn't sound nice so my subscribers that are British or whatever, you know, please enlighten me. Is that a slur? Or is that just a nickname or something? Oh. Uh, I don't know. I never heard of it. I might Google it. But yeah, that's what he said. So, I don't know. Boy, oh, I'm about to cry over this. Dad, don't it? Well, folks, it is what it is. It's still... It's still uh, 10 pounds of, uh, of... Well, now it's probably about 9 pounds. 9 pounds of aluminum. So, uh, I guess it'll be considered dirty. Um... Anyhow, oh, there's that. I just spotted something I've been looking for. I'm going to have to go out and get my pickup stick to get it. 
that's gonna be aluminum too. Oh, jeez. Any more? Yeah. Dad, gone it. Son of a gun. <laughs> I gotta get my pickup stick in here. I see something I want to pick up. And it's been lost. It's been lost. Okie dokie. Oh my goodness, it's going to rain. I ain't going to get to go to the store today. Son of a gun. Well. I got another thing here I made. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm gonna make some kind of tool out of it. Some kind of power tool. I started making this prop shoot. I reckon. I reckon. I started about a year ago and I never never finished it but as you can see it is a another sewing machine motor and I but when I found it it had this shaft on it and uh, I want I didn't come out here to piddle. I come out here to work. Here I am piddling. Alright, I need that other. Oh, Lord. Oh, mercy. I come out here to work. Here I am piddling. Here I am piddling. Got a bent. Plug war. Hope it still works. Yeah, see? Now, this had to been. I need to put my glasses on. I wonder if, well, I can't call his name, I'm supposed to, that's got an Allen wrench on it, that's got a, um, this is an adapter that's been put on there, oh, uh, huh, you know, I got that other little machine here that I made, uh, it's a, it's a, this, Sander, but it's a small one. It's out of a sewing machine motor. And, um... Uh, I'm gonna have to... figure out what I'm gonna do with this. I sure ain't gonna scrap it. I know some people... I know some of my subscribers or friends I know what they'd do with it they'd throw this thing in the motor pile and they'd cut the cords one fella especially he'd cut that cord in a heartbeat but I see possibilities with this thing so I ain't, I ain't about to scrap it I like gadgets, especially stuff, tools that you've made that does certain things. Now, now, yeah, I come out here to work. I didn't come out here to piddle around with stuff, and I've been piddling ever since I got out here. 
I wonder if there's any brass on that. Uh, you know, I'll hang on to that. That's for charging the AC on your car. Yeah, I'm hanging on to that. Uh, that, see, where does my Allen wrench go? I think I made an Allen wrench box, didn't I? That's my gold box. Okay. I know what I'm going to do. Ah. Uh, now, there's not going to be hardly any good scrap value in this thing. This is the one I picked up on the curb. It's a, it's a Singer. And I almost bet you that it works. But. And I do need a little sewing machine. I don't have one but I want it to be intact. I don't want it to be pieces like this is in. And so I, I ain't gonna do it today, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this thing, I'm gonna micro scrap this thing just to see what's in it. I'm thinking, I'm thinking this thing opens or something. It does. <laughs> it does. There's supposed to be some attachments in there. And the reason that does that it's so you can show up pants leg, put them on there and, and slip it over that and, and sew it. Um, and I'm almost going to bet you I know it comes off somehow or another. I know it comes off. Oh, screws holding it on right there. Oh, screw. Well, anyway, that's not my deal for today. Um, but there's gonna be a little scrap steel in there, stuff like that. Might be a motor in there I could use. I don't know. It's a singer, but I'll bet you it won't. I'll bet it ain't American made. It is made, let's see. Singer Sewing Machine Company. Bolt, 120 amps. 0.7 serial number listed. When service. Use only identical replacement parts. That don't say where it was made. But it's going to be made in China or something like that. You can bet on it. You can bet on it. They ain't making their stuff in here. Oh, well, that opens up. The bobbin's gone. There's the bobbin carrier. Anyhow, I don't see any place on it. It says made in Taiwan or made in, it might even say made in Vietnam. Um, 
Don't see much anymore that says made in USA. Uh, makes me kind of sad. I mean, we were... Back in the day, we... We made our stuff. And now, I don't know what we make anymore. I know all them years I had my my custom furniture shop. It was all American made. I made it. Me and my employees. I made it. Boy, I'd sure like, I'd like, there's a couple pieces that were really favorite pieces of mine. And I, I made a lot of them. They were reproductions. And, uh, I would, I would love, uh, get on there, why is that thing going to do that, there we go, I, I would love just one more time, build a chair and an ottoman, or so for Chase Lounge. There were those three pieces there that were really favorites of mine. One of them was Italian Provincial. The other one, the Cherry and Ottoman, was uh, uh, as close as I can describe it is, is early American. I'm gonna post a picture on this video of, of the three pieces I'm talking about. And, um, but, you know, my cu customers would come in, they would order, they would look at what I had on display there, and then they'd order what they wanted and the fabric they wanted on it and all that stuff. They'd give us all the custom measurements they wanted it, and uh, we would build it. And, uh, that shop was called Classic Furniture. I also did real upholstery, but most of the stuff in there, we was custom building uh, high-end reproductions, French Provincial, Country French, Early American. Chippendale, uh, Duncan Fife, we, we custom made all that stuff. I mean, from the ground up. When we started, all we had was a little stack of wood that come from the frame shop. Uh, the springs that was made at another place. And of course, we had to order in rolls of cotton and rolls of dacron and all that stuff in the fabric. And we'd build those chairs. I mean, they were classic pieces. And I love doing it. I love doing it. But is that rain? Good God, somebody, it's raining. Is it raining, boo boo? Come here, boo boo. Is it raining, baby? Come on. Come inside, girl. It's raining, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. It's raining. Oh, grown. Come in. Can't hang around outside now. Not now. Oh. But I would. I can't. I can't even remember the last piece of furniture I built, or the last piece that I reupholstered. I can't. I can't remember it. I know there was a last one. I just can't remember what it was. And I don't know if it was building the reproduction or real poster and something. But I would like to just build one more. Just one piece that I know I can remember now. And I would like for it to be one of my favorite pieces. Yeah, I'm gonna put a couple pictures in. 
Next. I can still get the frames and then you will you'll see the picture I show you, this is actual pictures. These are not the pictures are not furniture I made, but it's pictures that we made of those things that was in there. That that's what we used in our catalogs, you know, that is it is it's, it's the shelf poster's in white muslin. It doesn't have a fabric design or anything like that on it. <sighs> well, that rain just quit. Maybe I'll get inside. Yeah, I'd like to do just one more piece. Ah, Lord. Oh, my God. There I go dwelling on the past. Okay, I'm going in the house. <laughs>